Hey, this game is way too good. I'm I'm certain that this game is not meant to be this good, but yo, I'm so appreciative of this game. Crazy. Beast class, let's go. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. I, I, I see bears on the roadside. None of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss oh, yeah. Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh. Oh. Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. Now that's cute, I ain't gonna lie to I you. I think that's he might cute. be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way, the measles are over here. Bro, they look like cats. Oh yeah, I oh, like this. Couple of these or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something for honey jukes. <laughs> Some Harry Potter fans don't really like that movie. Oh, fantastic yeah, piece. Stupid but I think thing. it's amazing, man. Oh. <sighs> yeah, this guy best be careful. What, man, what are you doing? Ugh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Yo, my robe looks good though. Oh my days. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was onto them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears oh, our time you. has come to an end. Please How? close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, well, I've got some hair. Where is wanna, our wanna, new wanna. student? Ah, oh, you're gonna have to, you're gonna there have to wait you me. are. I would like a moment, please. All right, you're gonna have to wait for me. I'll be on crazy. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast lesson? I feel it was amazing. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. 
Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Yeah, I will, man, I will. Don't watch that. Hey, over here. Come on. See that? Okay, okay, okay. The ladies love me for really. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. Oh, you were an man, augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. I bet it's a beast, isn't it? I bet it's a beast. You've intrigued me. I Very well. It's a beast. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Uh, excuse me. Have you got I a broom? I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, I ain't trying to, thank I ain't you. trying to run it all the way, man. Think. Like, as oh. I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Uh, let's see what she's got for us, man. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. I wonder what it is. Stand back. Ooh. That's Hagrid's thing. What they're called. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? <laughs> Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. No. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Yeah, you them. got, you got, you got a bow and all of that. Come on, Cars, you got this. Fire. I don't think I've ever Fire. seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed you Russia if you'd like. You're hungry. I come and check on her every once in a while. Uh, you're hungry. <laughs> tell her what's going on. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Let me give you a little, let me give you a little comb as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open up that whole wing too, man. Open up that whole one, man. I thought I was going to ride it though. Incredible scenes, man. So, yes. what did you think of High Wing? She was brilliant. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's Isn't a it? longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety, and well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so yeah, I worry they could him. get her again, him. and I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. 
I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. Mm. Sounds suspicious. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're they doing. They must be planning like a rebellion or something. Would be good to investigate. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. I'm gonna go meet I'm gonna go meet Sebastian first. What what was he doing all the way down here? Bloody hell. Off on another adventure, are we? Alright, meet Sebastian. Finally. You made it. I mean, I mean, you was here before me. I mean... Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. Let's go, let's go. I mean, have you got a broomstick? This way. Have you got a broomstick? Let me see if he's got one. Oh. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Uh, lead the way then. You wanna lead the way, boss? Come on, it's my home for real. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> now, Sad what you've done. Sad man. I'm sorry. <laughs> How can you tell if you're son like that? That ain't right. <laughs> the man didn't want to greet me or not. So I'm sorry, give right to now. That. No, no, don't worry about it. You don't it. mind. I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he doped for. Speak with Anne and Solomon. Oh, he's outside. I was that thinking. boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. Oh, the nephew. He thinks he can help Anne. Oh, but Obviously, he said he's going to see his uncle. Be done I'm for an her. idiot, man. I, I'm, I'm knackered. I've been playing this game non-stop. That's why. I'm so sorry. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. 
and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. I mean, I respect, I respect that, but he ain't got no hope. And I think you should put your hope in me because, see me? Special student, you know? I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you remember what I've said. Yeah, don't, Good day. Yeah, don't worry about that, boss man. Let me go speak to Anne, though. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. It's all right, Anne, man. Trust me. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't. Truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts. And often, suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being at Feldcroft really if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. <clears throat> I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Revelio. You got any loot for me? Oh, this is sad. Look, man. Got a whole set up here and it's tiny in here. Oh, that's sad, man. Life is tough, man. I swear down, man. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. When we, when we first saw Sebastian, yeah, genuinely convinced that I did feel some anger in him as well. Like something I refuse like, you know what I'm to saying? believe that. But now we know that. Anne's like, pain is more than physical. She's it has changed right her now, entirely. Sad. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. I'm gonna lead the way, man. Let's do this, man. Come, come, come. We're still no broom now. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. No worries. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected oh, to some dig hair. through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. Come on, to be a part of it. So this is what you're gonna do. So this is what you're gonna do to the girl. So this is what you're gonna do to the girl. I won't rest. So this is what you're gonna do to the girl. So this is what you're gonna do to the shock show man. So this is what you're. 
Du bist mir noch nicht dran. Komm her, komm her, komm her. Komm her, du bist mir noch nicht dran. You've made your last mistake. You haven't had much. Who are you talking to? One less human to worry about. One less human to worry about. You call that spell cut? Oh, don't you hurt again, I think. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. Don't worry about that. I tried to warn you. Let me tell you something though, yeah? I've got you. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. Yeah, man, when we me looked outside, real. flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, <laughs> Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Disgusting. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. Yeah. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. Yeah. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Yeah, yeah, let's do that, man. Let's do that. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Whose home was this? Bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Revelio. I knew there was stuff up here. I just knew it. I just knew it. They said go check down there, but I just knew it was up here somewhere. Let 
Before I go over there, let me just go in here. Sebastian, <laughs> over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. This well looks familiar. Oh my. This is the village that Rackhelm, you remember? When he saved that girl and she was down there. Oh my days. This is the village. How the hell did I clock that though? Revelio. I'm a smart motherfucker, man. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Yeah. There's a big connection that's going to happen. I know it. Sebastian, Surely. this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you... I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. Yeah. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. Mm. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit look, much, uh, isn't it, when you put it like that? I mean, look, you're seeing goblins and trolls the and that's all you're telling me. both have good reason to search to this rise. house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. All right, all right, all right, that's good, that's good, Look that's at good. this. What do you see? Look, that someone no. piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Huh, a stairwell. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something oh. here worth a closer look. Yo. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Spider webs. This guy was already down here. This guy scared me, cuz. The hell? Revelio. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. I should read them, I lie. But. The reading thing is wrong. Incendio. I was there for time trying to figure out what I was going to do. Flip me. You think I could use this on the enemy? That'd be crazy, innit? I don't think you can, though. Revelio. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? There ain't no way. Because that happens to me, too. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. It definitely has to be my Ron Weasley. This yeah. has happened before. It has to be. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. 
Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. I feel like, you know that charge but I don't like here? Yeah? I feel like, the, oh man, it, it's got something to do with him. I know it is, man. And I, 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 listen, I know, trust me, I feel like it has to. <sighs> Shit. I don't know how to explain it though, but. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. triptych here seems as if something's missing a note let's have a look anything helpful in the note no nah, not really man a rune symbol i've seen similar symbols used by the keepers i've been thinking a keeper lived in that house centuries ago and ranrock and his lot have been searching there yeah you said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Mm. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. Uh, I'll be in touch. Uh, Till then. Alright, listen, man. Alright, listen, man. I, I apologize, my face being all screw up, but yo, I'm in tune with this. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. This game is amazing. This game is crazy. This game has me in a chokehold. So I gotta speak with Deke right now. You see what Deke's dealing with, see what he's gotta deal with, you feel me? Why not? I think it's nice to meet you from I don't know why I took the long way, man. Requirements. What a place. Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. A knapsack, yeah? Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. All right, all right, okay. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking so about something get Professor beast now. Owen said so I'll be beast looking for. Class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Oh, hell yeah. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Dee can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. You know what? J.K. Rowling slayed with this. Come along then. She was a young little girl, had a vision. She created this. Our first world, stop will be beyond the castle grounds. Wow. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. 
ready to learn how to use the nap. Let's go, man. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deep loves an outing. Ah, oh, this is their Hogsmeade. I remember this. A nasty poacher. Dick hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Don't worry, Deke, man. I've got you, man. Trust me. Yeah, look at these. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Hey, hey, come here. Ooh, you got one. Yo. Nah, that's sick. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, what's that over there? Nah, that is sick. Nah. Let me get one more. Let me get one more. Yeah. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, oh, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A job and all, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Whoa! You don't want to take me with you? Got me. Right, no. no need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Well, I can grab it. I'll look after you. Real I'll look after you. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, I meant to grab it anyway from. See, sometimes I get a bit too eager. Look, look, look. Now he's going to teach me how to grab one of them, surely. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanols are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Okay, okay. <laughs> I already have one here. Hi. I've already rescued one, actually. Do you have another beast in mind for today? Deek does. A clearing nearby is home to a herd of moon calves. Just follow the footpath uphill and Deek will meet you there. Or you can take me with you, Deek. Take me with you. Take me. Damn, man. He said, he said I could use, um, he said I could use, what did he say I could use? Levioso, innit? Let me see if I can use that now. Let me try to use that. Alright, where are you? There's one landing right here. Look, 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 look. Let me Oh. Oh, done it the hard way. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. I respect it, I respect it, you know, I ain't gonna lie. These are a nice, beautiful beasts, isn't it? I think they are. Hello, Deke. 
Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you I might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. I mean, Donnie, you could have told me that, like, before we went, you could have told me that easily. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, he was just standing there. He doesn't take me with him. He doesn't give me full information. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me, let me, let me go rescue him right now, though, you get me? Yeah, these are it, innit? Come here. Come here. Believe this. Fantastic beast. <laughs> Crazy. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, it's safe crazy. and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. So Deke will meet you back in yeah, the room guess, whenever you're so. ready. Yeah, I guess so. Unless you could take me with you. Yeah. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued, then you home. Okay, okay. But, um... Not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. More cleaner for you, pussy. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Oh, that is that what they're dealing with right now? Hmm. What exactly did you think of? Like a cage, isn't it? You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Or you could say, ah, oh, let's have a look. Let's go take, you know what I'm saying? I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I don't even want to change it, man. Actually, perhaps another time. I like this, I like this. Oh, this is sick. Look at this! It's amazing! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. 
Hey, look at that, man. That, oh, that is so sick, man. Man, chat to me, man. I ain't gonna lie, I'm trying to get out of it for real. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, okay, making okay, your clothing more that. useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Oh, that's so sick, man. Oh, my days, cuz. Oh, my days, that is so sick. Conjure and enchantment loom. How the hell do I do that, though? Oh, okay, okay. Enchantment loom. An enchantment loom with the ability to enhance clothing. Okay, alright, 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 alright. Let's see where I'm gonna put this one. Might just have to put it in the corner then to me. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful! Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. I, I respect the way they've done it in this game, man, so... Thank you for your help, Deke. You rescue beasts and you've upgraded 